Ahead of the final day of the NATO summit, the president doubled down on his demands for more military spending. He tweeted, presidents have been trying unsuccessfully for years to get Germany and other rich NATO nations to pay more toward their protection from Russia. Yesterday, NATO's pomp and circumstance showcased its military strength and unity between the 29 countries. But the president, with some sharp criticisms, upended the gathering of allies. Germany, as far as I'm concerned, is captive to Russia. Only five members, including the U.S., are currently paying the requested 2 percent of their nation's GDP on defense spending. The president is now pressing allies to raise that to 4 percent. There are uh, uh, disagreements. But NATO has made decisions and we are delivering on the defense pledge. The summit here in Brussels is usually a chance to reaffirm a commitment to an alliance that was formed to defend against Soviet aggression. Sometimes it feels like we, we punch our friends in the nose and hold our hand out to people that, that are working strongly against us, like Russia. Back in the U.S., there's mixed reaction to the president's attacks. The president is right to point out that our NATO allies need to adhere to their commitments. The president and Russian President Vladimir Putin meet for a summit in Helsinki next week. Kylie Atwood, CBS News, Brussels.